Baby? Baby? Ba oh, there you are. Oh, baby. Come here. Let me hold you. Hmm. <laughs> no, no. It's okay. Don't be silly. It's alright. The least of my worries is your mascara on my shirt, okay? Cry all you want, baby doll, so long as your tears end up right here on my shoulder. Okay? <laughs> yeah, I decided to call it a half day. Yeah, it's, it's no problem. Work was light, and what's the point in being manager if you can't flex every now and then, right? Especially hmm, when a loved one needs you. No, sweetheart. I know you're trying to be tough now, and, well, you are, more than you know, but those lines on your cheek don't lie, and I'm glad to be here, especially now that, come here, especially now that you're on my lap, <laughs> look at me, baby, look at me, please, there you are. Oh, sweetheart. It was pretty bad, huh? No, that's fully understandable. It's always a blow to the ego when someone says they don't want you. Even when it's a bunch of stupid jerks like them. Okay, okay. You can still like them if you want, but I don't have to. I'll hate them for you. They never saw you for what you were, and it's a damn shame, too. If they saw what I saw... If they knew the potential you have stored in you, you'd be president, CEO, czar, <laughs> emperor, <laughs> headmaster, <laughs> mm, however you want to call it. You'd be running the place if it were up to me. Biased? Mm, okay, well I can see why you'd say that, but mm, I honestly don't think I am, babe. I look at you, and how hard you work, and how much you give, and I see the work ethic of someone who should be making astronomically more than you do. You've more heart, more spunk, more fight, and more fire than any of those co-workers you introduced me to. Yeah, ex-co-worker, sorry. Good riddance, though. We're better off without them, no? They're a bunch of fucking... Oh... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, baby. All this animosity isn't helping, I'm sure. I just thought you could use someone to be angry for you, you know? I. Here, listen close, okay? I've actually been giving this a lot of thought, not just now on the ride home, but lately. I know you've been having problems with your job and your last couple of jobs, and I'm pretty sure I have it figured out. Now, it's not the best analogy in the world, but it works and it's accurate, so hear me out, okay? <clears throat> okay. You're a fork. A strong, sturdy, pointy fork. You are exceedingly efficient at doing forky things. And when it comes to forking, you're one of the best. Mind out of the gutter, love. Now, the thing is... The job you had, and the jobs you've been working in the past few years, they want you to be a spoon. They want to use you to eat soup. Okay, this analogy is really getting away from me, but just, just what I'm trying to say is, <laughs> no matter how quick you move, and you move quick, and no matter how hard you work, and no one works harder than you, a fork will just never be efficient for having soup. And so long as you keep trying to use a fork to do a spoon's job, you're going to keep coming into these problems you do. Now, it's not your fault. It's not their fault. It's not the task's fault. You were just meant for different things. Better things. Bigger things. And years from now, when you realized your dream and we're looking back at this, I'll be there to laugh with you, not at you, okay? Hmm. There's that smile I love so much. Mm. 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 Now then, what was my adorable little forkling made for, hmm? Come on now. I'm sure you've got a passion in there, 
something you actually want to do with your time? Let's hear it. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, baby, yeah. <laughs> You'd be absolutely perfect at that. You've got the right temperament, the right heart, the right spirit, and the perfect passion for exactly that. Okay, now let's take a look at this, yeah? We are here now. And your job, your dream job, is over here. Seems far away, right? Well, with time, with focus, with some hard work, and with me, <laughs> it won't be as long as it looks. Besides, I've got you. I'm making more than enough to support both of us. So we're nice and secure, okay? We're in this together. I'm gonna fight just as hard as you to get you to your goal, baby doll. Because I love you. And I love you. And I love you. Mm. Mm. And of and of course, because I love you. Now, you can be as sad as long as you want to be. I'll be right here, holding you, and pulling up Tangled on the TV. Mm-hmm. That's right. How about this? We'll order in, make tonight about us, and in the morning, we'll start you down the path towards your dreams. For now, though, kiss me again. We've got this, baby. <laughs>